Hi everyone, I'm Namita Peparaya and welcome to Yoga Nama. Today we are going to do a short session to help release tension and stiffness from the neck and we will begin in a seated position. So come join me now and we shall start. Take a deep breath in as always. Exhale it out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And exhale completely. Let's now begin. First, gently turn your neck over to the right as far as it will go. And then as you exhale, turn to the other side. Make these movements count. So turn a little bit more than you would passively. Find some active movement, right? And then over to the left as if you want to see yourself in an imaginary mirror behind you. So with that intention, let's do this one more time, each side, over to the right, and then over to the left. And now flexion extension. So as you exhale, bring the chin to chest, hold for a moment. And then as you inhale, look up, hold here, exhale, Inhale, exhale, notice these movements are slower, we are not moving very fast. So have patience, this will really work on you, even when you are not doing it super fast. Let's do one more time, chin to chest, hold. And then as you inhale, look up. And exhale, come to a neutral position. Let's activate the neck a little bit more. Take your right hand over to the right side of the head and actively press the hand into the head, but also the head back into the hand. So nothing will really move and we will isometrically hold it here for seven. Keep pressing six, five, four, three, Two, one, release over to the left. So left hand to the left side of the head. You know what to do. Let's begin. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release now press your hand into the forehead and the same thing for seven six notice the muscles here tighten five four three two one and release last and final take your hands behind the head cradle the head and same activation equal force in both directions so there is no movement for seven six five four three two one and release but keep your hands where they are what we are going to do is sort of cat cow movement with the neck so as you exhale try to bring the elbows together round the spine come really low and then as you inhale, open and lift the chest up. Exhale, elbows trying to reach the legs, rounding the spine. Inhale, unravel, look up into a back bend, supporting your head with the hands. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, one more time, exhale and then inhale, open up the elbows, look up and then as you exhale, release the hands, bring the hands down. Now let's move into our neck circles. So close your eyes if you would like, slowly only three rounds in each direction. Let's move the neck through its complete range of motion. Make sure there is no pain 
at any point no tingling or numbness or sharp shooting pains change direction keep moving and when you are done come back to a neutral position and slowly open your eyes in case you had them closed now we are going to move into some deeper stretches for the neck so what i want you to do is take your right ear to right shoulder and then take your left hand out and away from you pointing the fingers away feeling that stretch deepen into the left side of the neck and shoulder and hold here now take a couple of deep breaths for 9 8 keep pointing the fingers away that's going to be important 7 6 5 4 3 and slowly return to neutral same thing on the other side so left ear to left shoulder right hand goes out fingertips are active pointing away from you and as you continue to breathe for a count of 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and return back now again as you exhale bring the chin to chest and as you inhale look up one more time bring the chin to chest and then look up come to neutral for the next one i want you to take your left hand to the collarbone area here on the right side the opposite side and then as you exhale take your left ear to left shoulder and then also slightly look up as you continue to breathe for 9 eight 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and return come back to neutral let's do this on the other side taking your right hand to the left collarbone i'm just going to move the mic out so i don't muffle the sound so left uh, collarbone right hand press it in and then right ear to right shoulder also look up so a diagonal movement continue to breathe for 9 8 7 6 5 four three two one and return come back to neutral take a breath or two here just notice the changes in the area around the neck and notice if you feel any difference in your breath as well for the next stretch i'm going to turn around so you can see the arrangement of the hands and what we have to do so it's going to be easier for you what i'm going to do here now is take my right hand behind grab hold of it with the left hand and pull it down while simultaneously trying to take my left ear towards the left shoulder so i'm creating space here trying to give myself a good deep stretch the more you pull the hand down the deeper the stretch will be let's continue to hold it now for seven more because we've already been holding six five four three two one release and on to the other side grabbing hold of the left wrist now taking the right ear to right shoulder creating space moving the head and the hand in opposite direction for 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 
थ्री टू वन एंड रिलीज कम बैक टू न्यूट्रल From here we are going to now move into cow face pose which you can continue doing in whichever position you have chosen or we can actually come into gomukhasan shape of the legs so bringing the right knee above the left and we are going to do a modification so stack the knees one above the other you can even sit up on a couple of blocks or a couple of thick pillows or you can simply do this in vajrasan or sukhasan as well any cross leg sitting position what i'm going to do is take my opposite elbow up so taking the left elbow up because right knee is on top and i add a side bend so pulling the elbow up and back not being here but finding a position that's more in line with both the shoulders for 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one, and return. Release both the hands down. Keep your right hand down. Take your left hand behind, and as you exhale, try to bring the elbows to touch. Inhale, take the elbow back. Just five times, starting now. Five. Inhale, four. Inhale, three. And back, two. And back, last one. And let's come back. Now we will do this on the other side. So if you're doing cow face legs, then we will switch around any way is possible. I just simply. moved into the other side now taking right elbow up lifting it up and back adding a side bend for 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 return back to center take your left hand out right hand behind exhale inhale up five more times exhale inhale exhale two inhale keep moving like this three four and last one five release and return and we will now move into a lying down position and for this one it would be nice if you have a belt rather we do need a belt and what we're going to do is loop the belt in a manner that it connects our head to our legs so we are going to do supta padangusthasan which is reclined head to knee pose but we are going to make it as a hammock for the neck So let me show you first. To begin with we are going to keep the left knee bent, right leg is going to be straight and we have this belt which will help me stretch out the hamstrings. But I am going to also cradle my head with the belt. Now once you've got the position right and comfortable wherein the neck is weighing in, pulling the foot in, you can experiment with straightening the left leg in case that feels comfortable otherwise keep the leg straight. And now let's stay here for 9 deep breaths. Do this only if it is comfortable in case this does not feel good, you can skip this posture. This is also not recommended in case you've just had any kind of neck surgery. But in case this feels completely all right, it can be very relaxing for the neck. And you can rest your hands out to the side, palms facing up. Remember always listen to your body because every bo body is different. we respond differently to postures depending on what kind of compensations we tend to uh do in our everyday life so always experiment but then stick with what feels right to you and to your body
Let's take one more breath. And then as you exhale, slowly bend the knee, straighten the leg and take a moment to breathe and notice the difference between the right and the left side. Now we shall do this on the other leg. So first bring the left knee in and also the right knee always begin with the right leg bent so you know your capacity and it can be different on each side. You may even need to adjust the length of the belt on each side and I'm going to keep it like this so it's away from my face. All right, now we hook the belt behind the head and also make that contact with the left leg. So I can already notice some difference between the right and the left side in my case, but we will see and I, or rather I will see whether I need to adjust the length of the belt. All right, maybe I'll keep it same. You do check in with yourself whether you would like to change or keep it same. Now a few deep breaths here. Like I said, it's so important for everyone to check in with themselves. What feels right to me personally, this is instantly very relaxing for the neck. But in case that is not so for you, you can always just move into Supta Padangushtasan with the hands, with the belt, without the neck, without the hammock around the neck rather. Five more, four, three, two, one, and then slowly bend the knee, release the belt, allow the head to rest on the ground, palms facing up. Allow the neck to turn from one side to the other. And then slowly move into Shavasana now. I'm going to say goodbye here, but please do stay in Shavasana for at least three to five minutes or as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you had a great session.